Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley, and in this video, I'm just going to be talking about um, painting guns, why you would want to paint guns, you know, the pros and cons of painting guns, and kind of uh, I want to show you the project that I kind of just did. So um, go ahead and check out my previous video of shooting the SKS if you haven't already seen that video. Um, it's only like four minutes long. Go check out that video so you can see what my SKS looked like before I painted it. And now I'm going to show you the uh, finished result. And the point of this video is I'm going to explain why you should paint your gun, why you shouldn't. Or um, just some tips on how to do it and make it look okay. So, here we have the SKS. Sorry, the lighting is not that great in here. So I'm going to get kind of close. So if you remember from my last video, you were able to see the SKS had kind of a tan gray stock on it. Kind of like a flat darker stock. And now as you can see, hopefully the light isn't that bad. But now as you can see it's black with uh, olive green tiger stripes. Anyways, um, so this whole thing cost me like eight dollars to paint it. Um, I just used Krylon. Let me show you what I used. Krylon camouflage. These are like four or five dollars each. And this stuff dries really well. This was painted earlier today and I'm already able to pick it up and hold it and everything without anything happening to it. So, um, let me just go over some tips real quick. I'm going to put the gun down and kind of change the angle so you can see it better. Um, and let me reposition the camera real quick. So, first thing I want to show you guys is... Um, let me see here, there, you can see it better in this light. The first thing I wanted to show you is the, to be able to make this like kind of successful is you want to paint this, when you paint the gun, you want to make sure to do it kind of maybe a foot away from the actual gun itself. Because if you get too close with the can of spray paint, it'll just run down and it'll look really bad and it won't uh... it just won't work very well um, so make sure when you're spraying it at all times to have the gun um, to have the can of spray paint at least one foot away so the paint can kind of mist and lightly go over the gun and have coats um, so that's my first tip is make sure that you have um, enough distance between you and the gun and the can of spray paint so you don't get any runny or drippy mess. Uh, tip number two is make sure you tape everything off you don't want painted so like the bolt I taped off, um, the barrel, the front, the tip of the barrel and the trigger obviously so anything you don't want taped or anything you don't want painted use like some painters tape or something and tape it off and let me go back and put the camera back up here one second so yeah anything you don't want painted obviously you need to tape it off and number three I would hang it when I'm painting it what I did is where the sling goes I put some string and I hung it from something and then I just painted it while it was hanging that way you can get the most angles easiest because if you just lay it on the ground then you have to wait for one side to dry and then flip it over but if you just hang it off of something and then just paint it like that that's usually the best way to go um, that's my third tip and my next tip after that would be letting it dry between each coat so I would give it about 10 to 15 minutes between each coat I would do an entire coat and then let it sit and then do another coat and then let it sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes between each coat um, the whole gun, the whole thing should take you around maybe an hour or so to do 
And a lot of people always wonder like, oh, should I be careful of, you know, getting paint on certain stuff? Like, I don't know, the buttstock, will it still function? And yeah, it still works just fine even though I painted it. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about is, or the next thing, I've, been, I've already mentioned like five things. But a lot of people, here let me adjust this camera real quick. A lot of people ask, like, why do you paint your gun? And simply, I paint my gun just to make it look different. Um, you know, if I want a change of, I want to change how it looks, you know, for $6, I can totally change the look of my rifle, you know, so that's pretty cool. So that's the main reason I paint it, but also to make it blend in more with the environment, you know, obviously. Um, use the colors that are around you, like in your... Uh, so, you know, obviously if you're in Washington, you wouldn't use, you know, tan or flat dark earth all the time. You'd probably use more green. Um, but if you were in, I don't know, Texas, flat dark earth might not be a bad option. So, and again, sorry about the lighting. I thought it would be good in here, but, um, as you can see, um, I went kind of with the uh, tiger stripe. Uh, painting style on here and let me see here so sorry yeah sorry guys I know it's not showing up very good in the light but basically I painted the entire thing black and then after that I waited a little while so it could dry and then I did olive green tiger stripes and I think it turned out pretty cool um, I know as, like, if you've seen the video before, you saw that this gun was tan, kind of a flat dark earth tan, so I think it changed the look quite a bit to this gun. It looks pretty awesome, I think. Um, so, I'm just going to put that gun down and sort of explain why a lot of people are against, um, you know, painting their guns because they're like, what's the point of painting it? What's the point of painting the gun if it's just going to fade away? And that's kind of the whole idea. Like, a lot of people like that look. Obviously, not all the paint's going to fade off, but places where you have the most usage, you know, there's going to be a lot of fading, especially if you're just using Krylon. So, if you don't like the faded paint look, you know, I love, I love it, but some people don't like it, then... I wouldn't do it or I would have I would go professional and have like someone Cerakote your gun if you're not into the faded look because obviously you know an eight, a four dollar can of Krylon paint obviously this isn't going to stay on forever and it will probably wear off your gun eventually but you know it's four dollars so you could put a new coat on or whatever I just like how it changes the look of the gun it's something fun to do and for four dollars it's not super hard and it's not super difficult so um let me i'm gonna go uh change uh where i am so i can show you in better light how the rifle turned out okay hopefully now the lighting is a little better and now you can see how my rifle looks after i um, painted it as you can tell i got paint even on the barrel and I think that's totally fine. I think it'll stay on there fine. I even painted my foregrip. And I even painted my magazine as well. Um, so yeah, we got a nice paint job all the way over here. And I did this in like 40 minutes. Uh, and I don't think it looks the best. But, you know, it's just something easy and quick. And it, I think it makes the gun look cooler than it did before. Um... And you know it kind of blends in with the environment. Let me show you the other side. Hold on. Okay, now this is the other side of the rifle. Um, you can see there's some spots I messed up in. You know, it's not turning out that great in some areas. And obviously, you know, around the handle, the pistol grip, and other areas are going to wear, you know, faster than, you know, other areas that don't have contact as much. But I think it looks fairly good. And again, all I did was I painted the entire gun black. I waited about an hour. And then I uh, did the tiger stripes 
with olive green on it. And like I said, guys, originally this gun was, um, the stock was flat dark earth tan, coyote tan, whatever you want to call it. And it looked a lot different than it does now. I think this looks a lot better in my opinion. And I think it'll look even cooler once I shoot it and, you know, get some wear on it. But that's about it, guys. I think it looks good. Um, as long, like I said, for my tips, just make sure you, um, when you're spraying, you're at least a foot away when you spray. Make sure that you let the each coat dry. Give it enough time to dry. And other than that, guys, there's uh, not much else to it. Um, just take your time and... You know, I could have, if I would have taken more time, I probably could have made this look a lot better. But for what it is, you know, I think it it's fine. So, and that's the cool thing is you can always change the color or change the look of your gun, you know, down the road. So, that's about it, guys. And um, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you next week.